if you feel like you can't speak English, if it seems like something impossible, something out of reach, something you will never be able to do well, then I have good news. You clicked on the right video. Welcome back to all of my incredible students and subscribers. This is English is Easy, the YouTube channel where every week I upload high quality, full and free English lessons that are designed to help get you to fluency faster. Today we have episode 10 of Super Sentences, the best way to exercise your spoken English on YouTube. Let me give you a reminder of how it works. We are going to begin with a simple sentence, something basic, something easy, and then level by level, we are going to stretch this little basic sentence longer and longer. Yeah, adding new words to the sentence, making it more challenging, more difficult, more complex. As we go through this video, making the sentence longer and longer, you can practice speaking with me in two different ways. The first way is by shadowing. Yeah, I speak, you speak. You can follow along with me as I talk and try to say the things that I say the same way that I say them. You can also pause the video and repeat back what has been said. Guys, by doing this, we are training our brains. Yeah, getting more comfortable with speaking at length. In other words, speaking longer and more complicated sentences. Click like on this video to support me as your YouTube English teacher. Make sure you watch all the way till the end to get the most out of this lesson. And let's jump in. Here we are at level one. Okay, we've got a short basic sentence. Let's do a slow read of this sentence. And remember, you can shadow me or pause and repeat. All right, let's go. Anna gives up social media for a month. One more time, medium speed, a little bit faster. Anna gives up social media for a month. Okay, great. So we have our main character for today's lesson. Her name is Anna. She's a girl. And what is she doing? She's giving up social media. You guys know social media, right? Could be a website like YouTube, could be an app like Instagram. It is a platform where people connect with each other and, yeah, engage or interact socially. Okay, so Anna has made a decision to give up social media. In other words, she's going to quit social media, right? But she's not going to quit forever. No, she's only quitting for a month. So we can also say that she's taking a break. Yeah, she's just taking a break from social media just for a little while. She'll be back later, right? But for right now, she is stepping away. She's stepping away. We could also say taking a step back or taking a step away from social media, right? There's lots of ways to express this idea. We could also say she's taking a breather. Here's a really spoken English expression for you guys. Yeah, if you take a breather from something, then that means you are giving yourself a rest. You are taking a break from it, right? Imagine that you go to the gym every day for a month. Yeah, at the end of the month, you are feeling exhausted and you tell your friend, you know what? I'm going to take a break from the gym. I'm going to step away for a little while, take a step back for a little while. I'm going to take a breather just for a bit. Maybe it means that you won't go to the gym for one week or something like that, right? Let's read it a couple more times at a quick speed, and then we're going to level up. Ready? Anna gives up social media for a month. Again, Anna gives up social media for a month. One more time. Anna gives up social media for a month. 
Fantastic. Here we are at level two, and as you can see, some blue text has been added to our super sentence. Yeah, we've stretched it even bigger. We've made it longer, and that's what's going to happen every time we level up. That way, we can push ourselves out of our comfort zones and stop speaking short little baby sentences all the time, right? Okay, let's begin with a slow read. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. One more time, medium speed. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. Okay, so after... After Anna makes this decision, this choice to step away from social media for one month, she realizes something. She has a realization. What does she realize? She realizes that she used to spend a lot of time scrolling, scrolling on her phone, right? If you are scrolling, 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 and you feel like you can't stop, we can also call this doom scrolling. <laughs> Something that I've talked about several times here on my channel. Doom scrolling is when you scroll, scroll, scroll for hours. You feel like you can't stop, right? So anyway, after Anna decides to quit social media for one month, she's left with all of these gaps, all of these empty spaces in her day, right? And she realizes, in other words, it dawns on her. She has this moment of realization where she realizes, oh my God, I used to spend so much time scrolling on my phone. Let's read it once more, quick speed, and then we'll level up. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend doom scrolling. Here we are at level three, and as you can see, we have added even more blue text to our super sentence, making it even more challenging. Let's start with a slow read. Anna gives up social media for a month which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. And suddenly, she has more free time. Once more, medium speed, Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. And suddenly, she has more free time. Okay, wonderful. So, now that Anna has decided to take a break from social media, she's got lots of free time. What is free time? Free time is a period of time where nothing is planned. Nothing is scheduled. You don't have any obligations. Obligations. For example, I told my friend I would go shopping with her today. I made a promise to her. That would be an obligation, something you made a promise to go and do, right? As an adult, we have lots and lots of obligations, lots of responsibilities. It's kind of fun to think about. What if you had an entire week of time without any obligations. What would you do? How would you spend that week? Would you travel? Would you just sit around and watch TV? Would you doom scroll on your phone? How about you guys leave me a comment down in the comment section letting me know how you would spend a week without any obligations. Okay, let's read this one more time, then we're going to level up again at a quick speed now. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. 
Here we are at level four. Let's just jump right in with a slow read. Ready? Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. And suddenly she has more free time, so she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years. Once more, medium speed. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years. Now we are seeing how Anna is choosing to spend this free time. What is she deciding to do with the free time she now has, right? What does she start to do? She starts reading books. What kind of books? Books that she hasn't touched in years. Yeah, if you haven't touched something in years, then it has been sitting idle. It has been collecting dust. I love this expression, collecting dust. For example, imagine that you buy some weights online and you have this plan to use them to exercise, right? Well, maybe you use them once, twice, and then you set them down in the corner of your house and you don't touch them for years. Well, slowly they are going to collect dust, right? If you take your finger and you sort of trace the top of the weights, you will find a layer of dust that has built up on top of them as a result of what? As a result of having been left idle. Yeah, you haven't touched them in a long time, so they've just been sitting there, right? So in this situation, Anna is returning to books that she hasn't touched in years. Maybe she's forgotten about some of these books. Maybe she's forgotten how much she used to enjoy them. But now she has an opportunity. Now she has a chance to rediscover or discover again, right? Rediscover her love, her passion, her interest in these books. One more time, quick speed, then we'll level up. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years. Here we are at level five, halfway through, and if you've made it even this far, as your YouTube English teacher, I'm very proud of you. So take your hand, give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing great. This is also a wonderful opportunity to quickly click that like button. It really supports me so much. If you guys could click the like button, leave me a comment, make sure you are subscribed. These are your ways to support me as your YouTube English teacher. Now that we're halfway through, I think we can get rid of the slow read. Let's jump right in to the medium read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing. As we can see with the blue text we've added, we learn about Anna's reaction to rediscovering reading, right? We know that she has started reading these old books that she hasn't touched in years. They've been sitting around collecting dust, sitting around idly, not being used, right? But she goes back and she's reading them and she finds it to be surprisingly relaxing. What is surprisingly relaxing? It just means she hadn't expected. She had not expected it to be this relaxing. It's really nice. It's nicer than she had thought, right? It's really relaxing. So she is rekindling her love for reading. 
what is kindle? If you kindle a fire, then you are tending to a fire, making sure it does not burn out. You are keeping it going. So if you go back and you rekindle your love for reading, then that just means you are making sure the fire, that is your love for reading, does not die, does not burn out. All right, quick read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing. Full speed ahead, level six, let's jump right in with a medium paced read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Okay, so this is the next thing that happens after Anna makes the decision to quit social media, right? Number one, the first thing that happens is she starts reading books that she hasn't touched in years. Number two is she starts to get really relaxed. She's finding all of this to be really relaxing. Number three, the third thing that happens is her stress levels start to drop. Mm, her stress levels. Yeah, the degree to which she feels stressed out. Maybe there's a lot going on in your life and you feel overwhelmed, like everything is really difficult and your stress levels are high. In other words, you just feel stressed out all the time, right? Maybe your stress levels are very low and you almost never feel stressed out. Well, it sounds like Anna was pretty stressed out before she made the decision to take a break from social media and she didn't even realize it. Yeah, sometimes that happens in life, right? We're really stressed out, we're really overwhelmed, and we don't even realize it. So her stress levels, they start to drop Drop just means go down. Let's read it one more time. Quick speed. Don't give up now. Keep going. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Level seven, here we go, medium speed. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. And suddenly she has more free time, so she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications. As you can see, we've added quite a lot this level, right? This is a lot of blue text, so let's dissect this. Let's analyze it. Let's take a close look at it, okay? Plus, so we're talking about an additional benefit. In other words, another good thing that happens after she makes the decision to quit social media, or at least take a break away from social media, right? So, Plus, she notices something. What does she notice? She notices that she's sleeping better. Why is she sleeping better? Because she is now without the constant notifications. Mm, what is a notification? We could also say a pop-up message. A pop-up message on your phone. Ba-ding, ba-ding, ba-ding. Somebody's trying to contact you. Somebody liked your picture on Instagram. Somebody left a comment. Someone's giving you a phone call. These are all notifications, right? And it sounds like, in Anna's case, her notifications were really constant. 
constant. In other words, they were going on constantly. They were happening all the time. Every minute she was getting a notification and she was constantly dealing with these notifications, but maybe she never realized the extent to which she was dealing with them. In other words, maybe she never fully understood how bad the situation was, that she was constantly doing this, constantly distracted by these notifications, right? Especially at nighttime. And, you know, when you're trying to go to sleep, ba-ding, 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 the constant notifications could be a really big deterrent, deterrent to good sleep. In other words, the constant notifications could definitely stand in the way of good sleep or stop you from getting good sleep, right? So now that these notifications are gone, of course, she's sleeping better. This is a terrific benefit to taking a step away from your phone, taking a break from social media. Again, quick read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time, so she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications. Whew, this is starting to be a real mouthful. This is starting to get really difficult. Even I'm getting a little tired. But guys, push. Don't give up. You are going to be so glad that you did this down the road when your English speaking skills are way more developed. Level 8, medium speed read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications and she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real-life interactions. You guys know that I love idioms. I love expressions. And turning over a new leaf is the idiom that I decided to include in today's video. What does it mean to turn over a new leaf? It basically means that you are starting a new chapter in your life. Yeah, you are moving on to a new and better way of living or lifestyle. So yeah, Anna realizes that, hey, she's really turned a page. That's another way we could say this. She's really turned a page in the book of her life, right? And she's feeling better about her lifestyle. She's feeling healthier. She's enjoying her life more. Now she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real life interactions. So she's not focusing on or paying attention to social media so much anymore. Now she is paying attention to... Here's someone paying attention to something, noticing something, ooh, <laughs> noticing something. She's focusing on real life interactions. What is an interaction? That is how you engage with someone or something. For example, I interact with you guys, with my subscribers, in the comments section. You guys leave me comments, giving me feedback on my videos, and I respond to your comments as best I can. That's my way of engaging with you, of interacting with you. One more time, quick read, here we go. 
Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications, and she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real life interactions. Level nine, this is getting really serious, really tough, really tricky, really hairy. Yeah, this is getting really challenging, but don't give up guys. Let's just do it. Let's bite the bullet and just do it with a medium speed read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications, and she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real-life interactions, so she starts spending more time with her friends. Taking a look at the blue text here, we can see specifically how she is focusing on her real-life interactions, right? How is she doing that? She's spending more time with her friends. Now, you know, maybe she would contact her friends in the past when she was using social media more. Maybe they were connected. Maybe they were even talking every day. But it felt a little bit hollow. It felt like it was lacking substance. In other words, it didn't feel that meaningful, right? When you talk to someone online, when you interact with one of your friends online, it just doesn't feel as real, as meaningful as when you do it in person, right? Face to face, person to person, out in the real world, okay? So that's what she's doing now. Again, quick read. Here we go. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications, and she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real-life interactions, so she starts spending more time with her friends. Whew. Okay, guys, level 10. We've made it to the final boss of this video. Yeah, we've made it to the big bad guy, right? This is the toughest level, of course, and you know what? I'd be willing to bet that for a lot of you, this might be the longest sentence that you've ever spoken in your entire life, right? If I'm correct, and this is the longest sentence you've ever spoken in your life, leave me a comment down in the comment section saying new record, new record. And if that's the case, if that's true, then congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment on your English speaking journey. Okay. Let's do a slow read. Here we go. Don't give up now, guys. We're so close to victory. Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling. And suddenly, she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. 
Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications. And she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real-life interactions. So she starts spending more time with her friends who comment on how much more present and engaged she seems. What does it mean to be present? If you are present, then that basically means you are living in the present. You are not distracted by remembering things that happened in the past or imagining things that could happen in the future, right? You're not thinking about the past. You are not thinking about the future. Your brain and your attention is right here in the present moment. So her friends are commenting on this. In other words, they are mentioning it to her. They are bringing it up. Yeah, they are bringing it up. They are making a point to talk about it with her, right? They're saying, hey, Anna, I'm noticing something about you. It seems like you've really changed. You are so much more present now than you used to be. You are so much more engaged. In other words, you are not distracted. You are focused than you used to be, right? You're doing a really good job. This seems like a healthy change for you. All right, guys, if you are ready to defeat this final boss, then let's say this super sentence one last time at a quick speed. Are you ready? Anna gives up social media for a month, which makes her realize how much time she used to spend scrolling, and suddenly she has more free time. So she starts reading books she hasn't touched in years, finding it surprisingly relaxing, and her stress levels start to drop. Plus, she notices she's sleeping better without the constant notifications, and she realizes she's turning over a new leaf by focusing on real-life interactions. So she starts spending more time with her friends who comment on how much more present and engaged she seems. If you made it all the way through this video, it's very important that you take a second to congratulate yourself. As your YouTube English teacher, I'm so proud of my students who take my videos seriously and really apply themselves, really make an effort to go all the way through and finish the lesson. So take your hand one more time Give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it, my friend. But don't go anywhere yet because with any good workout, a cool down is really important. So that's what we're going to do now. No more super sentence, but we are going to have a speaking cool down. Okay, so let's return to the idiom, the saying, the expression that we talked about today. Turn over a new leaf. What does it mean? It means to make a fresh start or begin to behave in a better way. Yeah, you are improving your life or your lifestyle, right? In the story today, we saw that by giving up social media, Anna feels like she's turning over a new leaf and focusing more on the present moment. Okay, so here is a discussion question for us to respond to together as our cool down. Is there something in your life holding you back? How could you turn over a new leaf and live a better life? Yeah, what is something you could do to, just like Anna, turn over a new leaf and start to live a better life? Is there something holding you back, a bad habit, something negative in your life that you could let go of, that you could get rid of and move on to a better lifestyle? What I want you guys to do is push yourself to speak for the full 30 seconds I'm going to give you and just respond to this question. It doesn't have to be perfect. The point is to try and fill up that full 30 seconds. I'm going to go first and give you a demonstration or an example of what I would like you to try and do when it's your turn. Here I go. You know, recently, as a matter of fact, 
I actually do feel like I've turned over a new leaf. That's because I haven't had any coffee in the last two weeks. Now, normally I'm someone who really, really loves coffee, really enjoys a morning cup of coffee, sometimes an afternoon cup of coffee, but it was interfering with my sleep and my mood, so I gave it up and I really feel like I've turned over a new leaf. I feel much better now. That was my response. Now it's your turn. Take that full 30 seconds, push all the way through, and respond to this question as our cool down. Go ahead. Guys, my videos here on YouTube will always, always be free for my subscribers, but I would like to take a moment and give a huge thanks to my channel members, people who have clicked join here on YouTube and people who have joined over on Patreon. Yeah, my channel members, what are they? What do they do? They go the extra mile to support me as their YouTube English teacher and the work that I do here on YouTube. They know that private lessons can be very expensive I used to charge almost a hundred US dollars for an hour of private lessons, right? So having a personal tutor can cost a lot of money. Now, my videos do provide a free alternative to that, but my channel members, they recognize the value in what I'm doing, so they choose to support me. But they don't just support me for nothing. They get something in return. Yeah, they give me $5 a month to support me in my work here on YouTube, and in return for doing so, they get PDFs for all of my videos. This is really powerful. This is a really great tool because you can use these PDFs digitally or print them off like I do and follow along even better at home. Yeah, you can even personalize my lessons, highlighting words that are difficult for you, right? They also get bonus videos. Yeah, there's hours and hours of videos that are only available to my channel members, not available to the public. So if you want bonus videos and PDFs and sometimes early access to videos too, you know, getting to see them before anybody else, then I think this would be a really great option and I would appreciate it so very much. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the join button right here on YouTube, or you can go to patreon.com slash English with Connor to join on Patreon. You know, whether it's YouTube or Patreon, the benefits are the same. So either one is okay. You know, my members, they make my work possible. So thanks again to all of my channel members. You guys are amazing and I couldn't do this without you. And if you are in the middle of a study session, don't stop now. I'm going to put another one of my videos up on the screen. Go click on it. I'll meet you there. Let's go.